Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up 90 day fiance celeb Debbie Johnson met the love of her life when she met Tony Starcevich from Canada. However, based on the most recent updates from Debbie, the Canadian dream has turned into a nightmare. What's going on with this situation 90 day fiance celeb Debbie Johnston was as surprised as anyone when she found a second shot at love with her silver fox from Canada Tommy Starcevich. Colt Johnson was the one that got involved with the 90 Day Fiance franchise initially, but his mom somehow found a more successful relationship than he did, in fewer tries to boot. There's no denying that the connection Debbie has with Tony is solid. Debbie was candid about not being intimate with anyone for years before she found Tony. However, because Tony is from a different country, Debbie found herself in the exact same 90-day fiance predicament that all TLC couples face, trying to figure out how to legally live together and build a life with one another. As strong as Debbie and Tommy's connection is, there have been issues trying to get Debbie to Canada on a permanent basis to be with the love of her life. Debbie said recently that she was denied at the Canadian border due to an issue with her residency filing. Debbie Johnson was on the clock to file her residency to be able to get back to Canada and not have to leave her man behind. After Debbie was denied at the border, she had to go back to Las Vegas. Based on the most recent updates from her, things appear to have gone from bad to worse with this situation. Debbie Johnson recently took to her social media to share an alarming 90-day fans update with her followers. According to Colt Johnson's mom, she said, I could use some help, please. I'm still not able to cross over to Canada for probably five to seven days. I have been staying in hotels, but it is so expensive. Debbie then asked her 90-day finance followers for leads on any places to rent, pet sit, or house sit. This Canadian situation, with her not being able to get back into the country, has certainly taken a turn for the worse. It's clear that this situation has stretched her thin. For the time being, she added that she is stuck in Bellingham, a city in Washington state near the Canadian border. Debbie added that she is filing paperwork necessary to get her over the hump so that she can stay in Canada for good, but she also said that it takes time. In the meantime, she is in a tough spot as she is unable to return to Canada for close to another week. For more on this and other 90-day finance stories, come back often to TV shows Ace.